What's up? This is T, host of the Child by T podcast. And today, we're going to give you music to get f- two. We ain't even made it to the club, and I can tell you really. Grabbing on me, kissing on me, got you. What's up, what's up? This is the Chop by T Podcast, where we get real, raw, authentic conversations. I am your host, T. And to the very far right of me, we got my brother, my dear brother, the honorable, the inconquerable, Roscoe. Tell him what's up, Sco. What it do, what it do. And of course, in the middle, we got the artist himself, Be Good. What's good, what's good, what's good. Appreciate y'all having me. Man, definitely. Show I want to thank show. you. First and foremost, I want to thank you for coming on, because uh, one, you performed at our show, yeah, our live yeah, show. Man. It, it was, was epic. Show. Yeah, yeah. you performed at our live show. That shit was epic. Mm -hmm. I appreciated you coming on, coming through, man, showing up for us. You killed that shit on stage. You killed it on stage. Yeah, yeah. T tell me, you said this the type of nigga to blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, bro, look, bro, it's just. (laughs) No fake, because you're here either. I literally said that Uh this the type of nigga that'll blow up right here. I'm trying to, bro. I'm trying to, Mm -hmm. but y'all don't need enough, bro. This is the beginning right here. Like, Mm -hmm. this exposure right here that y'all doing, bro. Send the tone. For real, for real. Yeah, yeah. I keep telling them, I said, I think we going to be the reason why a lot. A lot of successful people come through Nashville. No I su- facts. Our subscribers just keep growing and growing and growing no and facts. growing. And, you know, we're going to we giving everybody who we can in this area a platform. We got to. Uh, yeah, I'm setting the tone, bro. Yeah. A lot of folks don't have this opportunity. So, if you're able to have that platform and then y'all get these folks the opportunity, bro, y'all can't do nothing but blow up. Yeah, bro. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I want to get right into it, though, man, for real, right, for real. Let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> um, my brother, me and my brother Scott was having a conversation on the phone the other day. Right? Uh, we sitting up having tell a conversation. Tell him what he finna say. Yeah, nah, we was sitting up having a conversation on the phone the other day, and he said, "Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. Motherfucker can say what they want to." Shit. Hey, bro, what you say? I still listen to R. Kelly, bro. I do, bro. I do. I ain't gonna stop, bro. I swear to God. Bro, he he ain't. Come on in the club, I'm gonna sing it. Bro, you got to, bro. You got hits, bro. Bro, that nigga makes songs to fuck to. Bro, that's the theme of the show Thanks. today. Niggas will sit up here and cap like they don't listen to R. Kelly, bro. I know for a fact if a nigga delete. All the R. Kelly off they sex playlist, mm-hmm. they probably got like ten songs left. About ten songs, I don't know. I don't really listen to R. Kelly. I don't fuck the. I don't fuck the the R. Kelly. Weird Never old. have. I'm gonna be honest. I ain't never fucked R. Kelly. Bro, when I hear that, my mind's telling me no. Oh, it's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> activate his hips. <laughs> 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 Nigga get in that bitch And activate his what? head But a lot of people Listening right now Are watching Probably wondering Why the hell are these niggas Talking about fucking on songs And shit like that man Cause we got the artists in here yeah. And that's what you make music for yeah. You make music yeah. for. Well I assume anyway Cause all the music I done heard from you Which is only your one single Up until this point right yeah. Do you have anything else out Yeah so I got A total of three singles out right now mm-hmm. uh, Oh well, yeah 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 Your singles uh, I have a song called High um, mm-hmm. I have a song called Loop Which is an acronym For Letter of One's Perfection um, and then I have the song It's so amazing Yeah so, yeah. yeah man Just um, When it comes to the music Bro it's just I, I like showing appreciation To women Whether it's um, You know On an emotional level mm-hmm. Or uh, A sexual level Or yeah. just physical Like you know Women They got different stages And stuff like that So just to be able to make music To show appreciation to them That's what I be trying to do Yeah yeah That shit the key So that's what you got in mind As you making your shit Yeah just show women appreciation Bro yeah. like You know Sometimes I might just be out the liquor and show appreciation <laughs> that way, or I might just it might be a beautiful day and I feel like damn, like if I had a woman, I'd take her on a date yeah, right now. Like, yeah, yeah. This is what I'd say if I took her on a date type of thing. So yeah, yeah. Roscoe, his ass uh, grew up listening to nothing but gospel and R and B. Yeah, that's all my that's all my pops so play. I was gonna ask you that. Like, <laughs> okay, so for me, I grew up in the church home. Mm-hmm. Me too, bro. Mm-hmm. I grew up in the church yeah. home, like singing the choir, yeah, all too. of that. So like. For me, it'd be kind of like, oh, shit. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Like, Nigga, I didn't start listening to rap until, like, bullshit you not. 18. Uh, 18. Square. Really? really <laughs> damn near. Yeah, 18, because that's when I started diving into that boost and all that shit. Like, yeah. fucking square. <laughs> okay, so what about you? Shit, I've been listening to fucking horrible music since a kid. Tell them yeah. what you say you be fucking to uh, the other day. I said it all. <laughs> my boost. 
<laughs> and I'm like, the, bro, I'm like, I'm I'm like killing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, shit. Like I've been listening. Uh, now nah, I've been listening. Listen, eight ball MJG. Like yeah. shit. I've been on them since like mm-hmm. a little one. That's all I ever heard. Play a fly, of course. All the Tennessee niggas. Yeah. All that shit got it since I was a little nigga. That's I all so I ever behind. listened to. You I know so what I'm saying? Hey, but <laughs> but Sunday is gospel music. Yeah, yeah. for yeah, sure. Sunday, you know, for, for sure. You dedicate that to gospel. I love the yeah. gospel. Oh. Dang, that's crazy. I was corny. Nah, 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 nah. Hell nah. I was hell corny nah. as hell. I was listening to Chris Brown trying to learn how to do the yo video. You know what I'm saying? Wow to wow. You know but you saying? already knew your direction too, though. You yeah. already knew you was coming here. You yeah. knew what you was going to do. You going to yeah. be an artist. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't rap. Shit, so I can't oh, yeah. that. R&B? R&B. R&B that shit though. Who the fuck want to be a rapper? It's so much range in R&B. Like yeah. like yeah. it's so much it's so much you can do with it. You can talk about a woman, you can talk about everything that come with women. And we know it's a lot of shit come with that crazy head. Hurt, <laughs> headache, heartache, fucking heartbreak, heartbreak, torture, torture, <laughs> suffering, <laughs> denial. <laughs> like nigga it's over. <laughs> Leave that woman up. Like, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Uh, but but you but you can really touch into a lot of space by doing that shit yeah. though, man. R and B. So that's why if I had to do, I said all the time, motherfuckers better be glad I can't sing. Oh, I yeah, had me too, babies. bro. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey. I probably it probably be corny as hell though, cause I just be singing all the time. Yeah. I won't stop. God yeah. knew not to bless me with that shit. And it's crazy, bro, cause I want to ask y'all something for like me. It be like folks be like, you can sing, and I just be like, I don't really think so. They be like, bro, if I had your voice, I'd be singing all the time. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'd be like, I don't understand. Like, yeah. I don't understand that singing all the time. Like, me, I I be thinking all the time, mm-hmm. humming musically yeah, wise. But, right. like, I'd be like, damn, these folks really be like, they'll sing all day. Yeah. Yeah. If, <laughs> if you had to compare your voice to who you would compare it to, <sighs> it's just if you had to. If I had to compare my voice, Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, because you know some niggas and I give you time to think about. It. Some niggas got that 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 voice. That some singers that got that voice like that that Chris Brown was just like, yeah, that's just an undeniable Talented talent person. voice. Yeah. Like that voice, no matter what he was meant to he, singing is like is like you can't teach that. That's just how his voice is. But then you got that shit like I, I think anyway, like a Sam Cooke, them old school brothers and shit. If you listen to them, their voices are amazing, but you can tell they just took what voice they had, you know, and and, and, and fucking went with it. From yeah. the Bobby Brown, all them people, like yeah. all them old school dudes, they just took their voice and just went with it. I like that raspy shit, like Anthony Hamilton. Like, I, 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 like, this, I like that shit. Like Anthony this. Hamilton, another talent, though. Yeah, that yeah. boy. It's vocal, very unique. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Vocal wise, like, if my voice, if I compare it the actual voice and my tone to yeah. somebody, I would say, like, Tyrese. Tyrese, yeah, Tyrese, Tyrese. Yeah. Yeah. Tyrese. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, I can get that. Yeah. I can get that from Tyrese. Him. I like Jamie Foxx a lot. I be trying to do a little Jamie here and yeah, there. Yeah, Jamie, Jamie, one of them. But that nigga Anthony <laughs> Hamilton. Anthony <laughs> Hamilton is for. I I love Anthony Hamilton for yeah. sure. Jamie, yeah. Anthony Hamilton, and fucking um, uh, R. Kelly. Yeah, you know them three is just one of them. Like blew me. Chris Brown too, you know we gonna talk new niggas, but it's Ma- a bunch of them. Maxwell, yeah. Maxwell, them like damn, this yeah. fucking voice, I can't believe this voice coming out of this man. Mm-hmm. Like, so do you think there's a lot of like, cause I be asking people like who they favorite R and B artists, and a lot mm-hmm. of people tell me like, folks, I probably ain't never really like tapped into, and I'm guessing that like they be undercover artists. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. So like, what does it come to y'all? Do y'all really just be bumping, or do y'all got y'all like undercover artists that? Oh, yeah, when they ask, like, who my favorite R&B artist, I'm going to say this person. Man, it's so, I got a few. It's so difficult today because yeah. I'm going to tell you why. It's so many rappers that done went to that fucking yeah. side. So I can sit up and say black, like a person Fact. like him. Like, I love it when he get in that bag where he talking, mm-hmm. like, he singing, he giving that one. Like, I can say motherfuckers like that or whatever his name is. He said it ain't black. I don't know what it's, six slack, whatever, black. <laughs> like, I, him, like, he get in that bag, like. Yeah. It's like damn, this nigga cold right yeah. here when he in that bad or like a, a Bryson Tiller or something like that. But man, you can't never go wrong with me with Anthony Hamilton, bro. That's my guy Anthony right Hamilton. there. That nigga be having me crying. Uh, I fuck with I fuck with Breezy, bro. I fuck with everything Chris Brown do. So do you think he's geared more into like he's transitioned more into the pop era? I, I think he sure. catered. He catered to that pop because that, that, that bread. bread. You know what I'm saying? That was that bread. But when he just sing like. 
Bruh can, bruh can blow Bruh love Chris Brown I went over his house one time He had a poster bro. <laughs> fucking lie On the wall I ain't got no poster of Chris Brown On my I'm fucking talking about wall. when we was kids bro. Not not like now currently I'm talking about Nigga, when we when was kids when we was kids He was kids Nah you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what made you weird <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker He got this 16 year old boy On concert, your wall bro, Real talk Went to a Chris Brown concert I think that was the best concert I ever went to in my life bro. Like, I had the best time <laughs> Listen I remember when I was chilling with my homeboy I said bro We should go to a Chris Brown concert They said what I said bro That's what I had to twist Bro what the hell Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? They come to see him. Bro, wanna see Breezy? <laughs> I'm trying to see Breezy. Bro, be turning flips, all type of shit. Fuck y'all. That nigga's I'm entertaining. Like, oh, gonna be here. Yeah. Bro, I ain't stopping. I'm trying Brain. to be backstage. I'm see that man on the ground being on the bus. <laughs> Sko ain't thinking about a hoe. He want to see Breezy. He ain't thinking about that hoe. Hey, man, he talented, bro. He talented. Fuck y'all. Talented, bro. Shit crazy. Okay, so do you mess with, like, his new school music more? I don't know we on topic of Chris Brown, but, like, I mess with, like, the old, I like the old shit. Take You Down, all that shit. Yeah. That's where I get a lot of my creativity with the music. Yeah, yeah. I like old school R&B anyway. Okay. I like when Trey Songz was in his bag back in the day. I fuck with Usher heavy. Yeah. Heavy, heavy. Yeah. It's crazy. I was sitting up talking to the mother of my child the other day. You know, I was prepping for her. Because she always give me good advice on how to, you know, come come into, like, these things when we having podcasts. Like, what do you think? You know, and we was talking about it. And I was like, man, yeah, you know, I'm going to talk about playlists and shit like that. She was like, you got a playlist? Mind you, I've been with this woman for 10 years. <laughs> I was like, man, I, I, you know, I got a little play. I got some. She was like, nigga, you don't even fuck long enough for a playlist. <laughs> <laughs> shit, nigga, take my shit back. Baby, five minutes, five minutes, baby. We got two songs. That's hey, both of them are mine. So we straight. Go get a strong six minutes out of me. Ain't going to be good, though. Hey. Strong six. Well, three different positions in six minutes. Depending, we depending on what era you talking about, that's one song. Ah, uh, yeah. Depending yeah. on what era, one, yeah, you two You go songs. old school, bro. That's half a song. That's half a song. Yeah. 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 You go back no. old, bro. You go back, bro. One song's like 10, 20 minutes long. Yeah. I'm looking, bro. I'm going yeah. to tell her. Baby, I'm not finna go. But yeah. we can't do this. We can't do this whole song. Yeah. We just gotta cut to the core. What if I gotta eat some pussy or something? Bro. <laughs> that's, that's my go to. That's my go to. pussy for 20 minutes to fuck for three. <laughs> Boy, you mad as hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looking at me. Man, I'm looking at you. Like, oh, shit, shit, bitch. Oh. I'm out of here, man. Oh, down shit. on aisle what? three, bitch. You, gotta try to play that shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Get a few strokes in. Get some you know what I'm saying? Got my jug of water ready. Man, I want to talk about that loop. I love that fucking name though, the acronym, that loop. loop letter of one's perfection. Letter. Letter of one's letter perfection. of one's perfection. That Thanks. shit dope as hell right there. Yeah. I like I Thanks. love that name. Like what's the concept of that song right there? Uh so in the midst of making that song, man, I really like uh I really just want to show appreciation to mm -hmm. women. Yeah. You know, like I feel like women they do go through yeah, their, for their, sure. their situations and, and things of that nature and they don't really get the um Appreciation that they need, yeah. and not in a, 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 a sexual manner. You right. feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. like a lot of times, guys, we're gonna appreciate them, but we're gonna appreciate them sexually. Yeah, yeah instead yeah, of treating yeah. them like an actual person. Yeah, yeah. So during the song, man, it was just like, how can I, in a sense, be able to give a woman some type of appreciation, but in, in like a context of me being able to make it like. For me to be able to do it. Yeah. So in the midst of it, bro, it's just like, let me explain to you, like, perfect. So at the beginning of the song, I say, uh, dear Miss Perfect, you know, and I know women ain't perfect. All women ain't yeah. perfect. Right. Everybody got their situations and things. But, you know, a woman that knows that she's not perfect is a perfect imperfection. So, like, letter of one's perfection is just a letter to me of what makes you perfect, what makes you perfect to me. So, and that's all I wanted to do, man, was just be able to let women know, like, you're appreciated, like, you're a queen, you love, like, you know, it yeah. is what it is. Like, you may not think I'm cute, baby, but I think you cute, baby, yeah, so right, let me, yeah. let me right. show you a little appreciation. So right. that's where that song came from, Little Ones Perfection. I'm trying to do a, a part two to a part it. Two. I think that's what I want to do to yeah. it, put a part two. Man, you, um, did you grow up with uh, your pops? Uh, so yeah, I grew up with my pops, I grew up with my mom, they divorced when I was really, really mm -hmm. young, mm -hmm. uh, but to be able to have a dad that, you know, really instilled, like, providing and, yeah. and being there for a woman and, and making sure that a woman is taken care of and trying to show her the love and desire that she needs and stuff like that. It made all the difference. It made all the difference. Like, I be looking around today, man, and, and it just bothers me. Like, 
how guys just be just doing like shivery ain't dead, bro. Yeah, nah, nah. Like I literally was working last night, bro, and I just watched this dude just like he first off. How you don't open your girl door like, bro? Like that, yeah. that be irking me for like that don't sit well with me, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, do not not open your, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like little stuff like that, or like just talking disrespectful to your woman yeah. or stuff like that, just making that stuff. So being able to have a father that just tell me like, bro, like nah, you gotta be able to respect. Yeah, you yeah. know, women like flowers. Women don't like being called ma, mm -hmm. baby, baby, yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Call them a miss or. Ma'am, or just oh, be on some name. Yeah, shit, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that, that shit is so crazy, and it's a hot take right here that a lot of people won't accept. And I, and no, I said the reality is, chivalry is so foreign to women in our generation that if you do it, a lot of motherfuckers will think you weird or gay. Thank you, yeah, bro. You don't, I ain't gonna stop bringing this being 100, bro. You don't, a lot of folks don't know, fool, like. I be respectful to women, bro, yeah. and they totally take me as a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, as soon as I be like, "Hey, right, bro, get the fuck out of my face!" <laughs> yeah. like, watch the fuck out. Who yeah. are you fucking talking to? Yeah, bro? they oh, all yeah. ears and eyes. Yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. damn, like this shit fucked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Cause yeah. I should be thinking that, like, damn, am I, am I tripping? Yeah, I know. I just said, like, I be thinking me being respectful is. Fucked up at this yeah. point. Like, damn, I can't call you, man. I'm like. Yeah. And that shit been that way for generations, too. Pac yeah. said it in one of them interviews one time. You know, he got to be mean to a woman. He got to do all of that for her to notice him. He couldn't be the nice sweetheart. Is, is it our fault? Yeah, it's our fault for it's sure. Our fault. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just all the years of dogging and, like, all of disrespect. That, dogging, and, social media. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then just. People's perception on what they think love and what they think respect is. I don't think a lot of a lot of people ain't got that model to look at no more in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, every divorce rates is high as hell. Mm -hmm. Even if you started off with your parents, you seen them. You seen a bunch of turmoil inside the house. house. They get divorced now. You ain't got shit to look up to. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm trying to figure out how you and your mama going to the same club, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, <laughs> You and your mama going to the same or dressing happy, the same. going to the same happy hour. <laughs> you go, you go to her page. Her titties out. Go to her mama page. Her titties, her titties out. out. Right. Y'all both in the in the twenties and thirties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I think that culture and that social media has played a lot of part in mm -hmm. that, bro. And, and for me, what I want to be able to do with my music, and I see how y'all work with y'all podcast, bro. It's like y'all want to be able to show positivity and present yeah. that out there. Like yeah. the women that y'all do bring onto the podcast, mm -hmm. y'all show them the highest respect. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you feel oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's supposed to have podcasts that just totally yeah. allow them to come onto the podcast to disrespect them. Just to them. disrespect them. We talk about we, that all bro. the time. I said we could have been blew up. Yeah, we could. All we had to do bring black women on here and, and attack them. And attack them. them. Yeah, y'all would have had a million views by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't do that, yeah, though, bro. But, that, but that's what kills me, bro. It's like, it takes for me to disrespect the female for her to actually get, like, interested in me. Yeah. But I yeah. got to be disrespectful to a female for her to be like, oh, okay, who is he? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it attracted I'm going to show you. How, I'm going to tell you how toxic and fucked up our generation is, bro. <laughs> tell like, me. I need notes <laughs> on this shit. <laughs> when, when I was, uh, I can remember vividly being like, and it was one of my cousins that said it. You know, I'm just listening to that conversation. It was female. She said, if a man don't hit you, then he don't love you. That shit blew my mind, bro. I could not believe it, bro. That's how fucked up our generation is, bro. That shit runs so fucking deep, bro. You <laughs> said that shit, bro? Like, yeah, nigga. I, I, yeah. I, I, I would probably would have looked at her like, are you serious? Yeah. When I had a woman tell me like, if my like if my man ain't talking crazy to me, my man don't love me. Glorify that toxic I'm like, shit. What? Yeah, we glorify that toxic <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, I had a motherfucker tell me it's like she was justifying her boyfriend hitting on her just because she was talking to look crazy. She well, you know, I did say this. I'm like, so you mean to tell me your nigga don't know how to talk to you? <laughs> he don't know how to correct you when you getting out of line without putting his hands on you? Yeah. I wonder will he smack his nigga when his nigga out of line? Yeah, no, nah. maybe. 
You know, we they, talked about it. Yeah, you got them niggas. crazy niggas out there, yeah. Some niggas smack yeah. anything. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, they they smack women, men, dogs, dogs. Your grandma. Your grandma. Like, God damn. He was crazy niggas out here, man. Lock this nigga up. Like Charles and White. Some niggas need to be locked up for a minute. Damn. Yeah, she said that. Yeah, bro. And she the only woman out of here to say that in my life. If a man don't hit you, he don't love you. Bro, I want to know what, like, what is so interesting about that shit that is make them be like, yes, yes, him, yes, him. I got it. Because I be confused. I be sitting there like, damn, okay. Shit, I guess I'm too nice. That shit crazy. But then a lot of women say that. Like, yeah. I don't like my man being too nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say, they, what they say, I don't want no friendly nigga. I don't want no friendly. So I'm from the South. Exactly. Baby, I'm from the South. I was getting my ass beat for not speaking to people yeah. when I walked in the crib. Yeah, real like my facts. mama was real deal. Son, you better speak to everybody when you walk exactly. in the crib. Yeah. Speak. So I'm supposed to not be friendly because you got an attitude. Yeah. But I think I think I think some I ain't gonna stunt though. I ain't gonna stunt. Some guys do be getting a little friendly with this friendly though. Yeah, they go friendly. I I yeah. will admit that, and I can not speak on that. Like yeah, some guys mm-hmm. do get a little friendly mm-hmm. with the friendly. Long as, I feel like as long as it's a balance, as long as you ain't doing too much, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. you speak. Nobody wants to come in and see a person being stuck up and not speaking and like not showing. You know what I'm saying? So I got a question, and maybe y'all have experienced it because I know I have. So like, <clears throat> we're we're genuinely respectful, young men. You feel right. I me? Mean? Like we're gonna respect the woman. We ain't gonna bash on her. We ain't gonna disrespect her. All of that. So for me, I know that like, when it comes to like showing respect to women. They'll show appreciate like they won't even show appreciation to us, mm-hmm. but they'll be like, "Oh, like you're so nice, like da 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 this, like I'm so glad somebody has done this for me, like this this that," and then that's all they're expecting from you. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I'll be like, "Damn, like you ain't putting sh- like I ain't gonna say you ain't putting shit on the table, but like yeah. you want me to put this on the table, you want me yeah. to be able to show you this, yeah. and <laughs> you want to get used to this, yeah. but it's, I'm getting used to and get shit. Ain't I'm not ask the kids, uh, I, no cap." <laughs> Man. No cap. I don't even want to say it, bro. Shotty called me at four o'clock. No cap. One night called me at four o'clock, drunk as hell, talking about something. I just wanted to call you because I knew you would answer. I'm on my way home. I just need somebody to talk to. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, oh, you okay, be she, nice. She, yeah, yeah I'm gonna be nice. But you're not pulling up here. Yeah. And it's four o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. I got work at six. It's four o'clock in the morning. You're calling me drunk. Sweetheart, if you're not pulling up here, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a tough one, right? Yeah. Now. It's tough, but yeah. like, maybe like because I'm a genuine person, so yeah. they think like because I'm there for you, mm-hmm. and you, and you got females that are see that you see that you would do that for them. Put you in the friend zone and only use you for your companionship. Come on, bro. Yeah. But let the next nigga who ain't worth a damn. Is using and my question to her and that mom, where the fuck you coming from? It's four o'clock in the four morning. You coming morning. from getting slayed? <laughs> you leaving the club? Why is you leaving the club? You can't even call the nigga you just fucked. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, he sleep. You Man, calling me? Hell. You calling me? <laughs> Get out my line. Real talk. Yeah. I'm tired to answer the phone. Go back to sleep with that bitch. Up. <laughs> yeah. Go back to sleep on your way. Real nah. talk. But that's why. Bro, that's crazy. Yeah. Nah, for real though. That's that's why I, um I always tell them like even. You know, in my interaction with women, like, uh, well, what I tell Sco anyway is just like the slow drip effect. Mm-hmm. You know, that's one thing I always do. I try not to give a woman too much at one time. And a lot of people deem that to be, you know, toxic or whatever they want to, but it's just like you can't give anybody too much at one time. Yeah, I seen that with my homeboys coming up. Like, yeah. you give them too much. Like, you, yeah, bro, you can spend all you can do this, you can do that, boom, boom, boom. Now they expect it. You don't do it no more. Yeah. It's fuck you. Yeah, yeah, nah, for real though, because that, that has happened a few times. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You can, hey, let me, let me, or, yeah, you can spend the night. Or, hey, let's go get something to eat. Yeah. Hey, let's go on a quick date. Like, just some nice shit. Mm-hmm. And they'll take that and run with that. Yeah. And then, like, they, they've, like, it's become norm for mm-hmm. guys to, like, do that shit mm-hmm. and just totally be disrespected. Like, Shawty, yeah. I just took you on a date. I didn't have to do that. Nah, yeah. nah. I really didn't have to do that. Not only did I take you on a date, I didn't expect nothing from you. But you just let bro over here that just took you to the corner store, literally, <laughs> to get him some wood. You just let this man hit. Crazy. <laughs> and you telling me I got to take you on a date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, yeah. 
I'm not this. I ain't got to do him. shit. Yeah. I'm not him. Treat me like him. Yeah. Treat me like him. <laughs> if if at least I'm taking you on a date, like bro, that's what, that's the crazy shit that be going through my head. Like, or this right here, like me and T was talking about this. Um, how like a lot of your friends, you might you might have a, a homeboy like he be just slammed, you know, he getting he fucking. Motherfucker get to you, female get to you. She want to make you her girlfriend, her boyfriend. Like this been my the story of my life, nigga. I've had so many females <laughs> tell me like, "Ooh, we like." I just want you to be my boyfriend. <laughs> nigga, I'd have had what? I'd have had my nigga send a female my way, right? That he didn't smash like probably about probably about a year ago or something like that. But she know me and him hang, mm-hmm. and I get out of. She wants to make me her boyfriend. That's cause you eat ass, bro. You know what that shit is. <laughs> you meet him the first day, eat the ass. That's why you got him bugged out. Listen, I'm not eating ass on the first day, bro. Yes, that's, you are, bro. That's some whole other level thought, male thought <laughs> shit right there, bro. I got some type of standard, bro. Bro, you're an advocate ass eater. <laughs> you're an ass eating connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> For real, you eating the ass on the first day. Now they love you. Ah, hey, I think he's my boyfriend. <laughs> Why you put my business out there like that, bro? God damn, damn bro. bro. The podcast bro. had to know that shit. Bro, we don't want you to take him on a date. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Man, most times I hit spaces where I want to have fun. I just be want to have fun. Let's Man. go. Let's go do a helicopter ride. You want to do it by yourself? Yeah, I ain't got. Who the fuck want to get on a yeah. helicopter by themselves and drink champagne? Bro, no cap. <laughs> No cap, bro. I went to the park the other day by myself. Yeah. I damn near was just going to text somebody like, hey, can we go to the park? Yeah. Yeah. To me, that's thoughtful as fuck. Yeah. Like, I'm bringing you into my world. She can be yeah. this weak ass nigga. Yeah. yeah. Want to go to yeah. the park? Yeah. park no, shit. I really, I really did tell the woman. I'm like, I told the young lady. I'm like, hey, like, like me personally, I just want to go chill. Like, yeah. I want to go relax for a minute. Because... As a guys, bro, like the guys, bro, we work, we grinding. Yeah, yeah. Half of the time when we off or when we relaxing, bro, we just want to relax. Yeah, like yeah. we don't want to have to go here, run this air, and do this, do that, mm-hmm. be here, be that. No, bro, I, I really did enjoy my time sitting yeah. the fuck down to the park. <laughs> Swear to God, real shit. Swear to God, real shit. Swatting yeah. that flies, bro. Yeah. I enjoy my time. Yeah. Yeah. But I really did tell the shot. I'm like, hey, excuse me, man. I'm like, I'm finna go to the park. Like, you want you want to tag along? Like, and she ain't even know, like, bro, I was going to make something to eat, make yeah, it like a picnic like a day. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because not only am I bringing you into my world, but I want to show you that I appreciate you yeah. for, for, like, coming into my coming world. Into my world, yeah. Mm-hmm. Spending time bro, with me. she real deal was, like, the park. <laughs> <laughs> Automatically, it ain't benefiting her. <laughs> she don't even said, know what she's going to get. I said, yeah, the park. Like, <laughs> yeah. the park. The park. We just want to go get some fresh air. Bro, I'm scared. Uh, no, nah, I'm busy. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> that missed the fuck out. Say less. That missed the, on the whole that vibe. Missed out. But, but that's just me, like. Then they'll lie and say, like, that's the shit they want, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 wait a minute. Don't be on the close friends that night talking about some niggas ain't shit. <laughs> don't know anyone just enjoy me. It don't take much. You just go to the park or we just chill at the house and what? I will report your page. <laughs> Get your shit flagged. You gonna wake up in the morning, your shit gonna be deactivated. Fucking with me, real, real talk. talk. Oh, they false advertising. False advertising. <laughs> I just sue you. <laughs> false advertising, baby. Damn. Yeah, real yeah. talk. That's. That's wild though. Like these motherfuckers. I don't get. I don't get that though. I feel like that's some. That's something that I would like to sit down and ask a woman. Mm-hmm. Like, they ain't gonna get the truth. Yeah, they ain't gonna never tell they the gonna, truth. They gonna lie. Yeah. A lot of them came in the podcast and just been lying between their goddamn to teeth. The, through their fucking teeth. <laughs> we just looking at them. Please don't tell me that, fool. <laughs> Man, T, get on the phone. That motherfucker was lying, bro. Oh, not even we get on the phone after. Yeah, they wait. sit here with us after the camera's off and, and tell, tell the all the truth. <laughs> Right. That like, happened like ten times. At least bro. ten times. They'll stay kicking. We kicking them. We get the real them. Yeah. You just got on the camera and lied. <laughs> I'm just up here like real, real what shit. The fuck? Look, real yeah. shit. This is me. I'm gosh. <laughs> I'm me. I am a corny, lame ass nigga. Real talk, baby. We going to the park. Most of the see? niggas. Most of the niggas. You know, most of the guys come on. They keep it real though. And shit, when they leave, they still, it's still the same energy. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm lame. Yeah, ass. but it be the women that baby, get all. Yeah. 
Now nah, it's the true con. Why well, I didn't want to say this, but so, 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 so. No, I'm like, all it. this juicy <laughs> shit off me, the podcast. You got me fucked. <laughs> oh, I just want you to know this because you know who you is. You got me fucked up. Okay, <laughs> you got me ass. fucked up. Tell we ain't going yeah, yeah. to the park no more. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no fucking park, no, bro. Talk, bro. But that, that's why the hell she laughed at me. Real <laughs> talk, bro. Real talk, laughed at me and said, "Nah, I'm straight." You be fucking in your music though. Do I? That's slick legendary if you do. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna snuck. I have got out to one of my songs. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that, shit, that shit legendary. Facts. That Facts. Shit, I wish I could do that shit. I Bro, that shit was amazing. Because I didn't play it. <laughs> she played it. Legend. <laughs> she cut it on. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to get on more than three minutes. Man. She on. cut the music on. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Yeah. No, bro. So, she got a playlist. Oh, yeah. And you on that hoe. I'm on the playlist, bro. I, I want another them. Oh, yeah. She. <laughs> Oh my god, bro! My song come on, me song. I'm like, hold on, this me. Oh I'm kicking again now. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, boom. That's dope, right there. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. And I just asked at the end. I'm like, hey, like, you know you play my, you know you play my song. Yeah. She's like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I said, I said, how'd it make you feel? Shit. Great. I said, all right, bitch. I'm yeah, like, yeah. straight. You yeah, know, yeah. like, that's crazy. But yeah, I have. Nah, like, nah. one occasion, though. One occasion, I have. What's next for you, man? You gonna do, you should, you gonna do, you putting out just singles and you gonna push them? Uh, or? actually, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm finna cook up an EP. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, got, I was just thinking that, too. I'm finna cook up a real nice EP. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and really put in some work. I got about three songs I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. and without giving us too too much, because I'm is it is it a concept or a theme? Like I love how Beyonce did Lemonade. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is it a concept or a theme? Something like that behind the EP? Or you uh, just gonna put out three hot songs? Nah, bro. Or the, three the, hot songs. The, the 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 theme behind the EP, man, is I really just want to show women. Like, mm -hmm. I really want women to have a a, a EP. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, like they got different versions. Like they got all types of songs. Like I want a, a slow R and B song. I want to do spoken word on a song. Yeah, I mean on a beat, like real talk. That'd be man. hard on some like like real. Yeah, you know, say real right intimate. Shit. Yeah, 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 say yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I be your slave? Like, yeah, 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 you're the shit girl. <laughs> like one of them. Real talk. So I got some. I got some. Some about. Three three songs right now that I'm just like working on, trying to finish them off, and then we're gonna hit this EP. After the EP, it's up. Like that's that's the goal. It's just I just want to drop music to be able to just show appreciation to the things that I view in my life mm -hmm. and I encounter in my life, and catering to the right demographic too. Yeah, yeah. The women gonna support. My yeah. mom, bro. I think the reason that I've I've set my Set my lane in this R and B game, bro. It's like I just love showing love. Yeah. And for me, like my mom was like the first woman that I was able to show some type of love to. You mm -hmm. feel me? So like being able, like my mom was a single mom. My dad was a single dad. Like they split, but they still handled right, right. Yeah. They took care of their business. Yeah. So, but like watching my mom work when she came home. And I run your bath like I I no cap bro on some corny shit bro. My mom got off work, I would run her bath water. Yeah. So when she came Turn home, the clothes and shit. When yeah. she came home, she didn't mm -hmm. have to worry about that. The yeah. food was already in the microwave. Like mm -hmm. your plate made. Like yeah. you don't have to worry mama. about shit. When yeah. you walk in the crib, you don't have to worry about shit. And my mama would like. I ain't really think my mama appreciated. But my mm -hmm. mama was like, son, like you don't know how. Yeah. Ease that make my evening like yeah, I don't yeah. have to come home and really like clean the house for all of that. Clean the house, I try relate to make sure y'all eating or doing that. Mm -hmm. So being able to just show that type of love and respect to my mom is kind of how I be trying to like show some type of love and respect to the women. Like yeah. I know some of my songs are sexual, yeah. But if you listen to some of the lyrics of some of my songs, you're gonna be like, damn, more than like, just sex. Yeah, it's more yeah. than just sex. Yeah. Like baby, like. Somebody out here appreciates you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it may not be the nigga that you sitting beside. Yeah. <laughs> but somebody out here, baby, appreciates you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's that's the whole game with the music, bro. Is I yeah. just want to show that that appreciation and, and keep that keep this music flowing, bro. I really feel like R and B gonna be my Oh yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's your talk. line, bro. You yeah. cold at that shit. Yeah, yeah, and it's a need for it. This is need for we need that shit. Yeah. We need music to make love to. Music right. to fuck to. 
And I be trying to sing, bro. Like, I can't really rap like that. And it's a lot of rappers trying to get into this R&B game and doing this rap singing shit. Yeah. I can't really get jiggy with that, bro. Yeah. Like, I really like some... That R and B, that tank, yeah, you know what uh, I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Tank, tank got one song. No matter, I don't give a damn if we. Been, I know the one you talking, talking about. SLP two, SLP six, love and pain two. The song, I, yes, the song. The song uh, is my song. Every time they help come on, bro, I'm like a female at the at a club with a drink. I I'm you, singing that shit. I thought you were talking about that junk close. You ever heard that one? Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Bro, tank fool. Yeah. Tank handles his music the way I want to handle mine. Yeah. Like. Tank, tank cold. Tank gonna yeah. show that love. Yeah. And he's still relevant, too. Yeah. Like, a lot of R&B niggas kind of like, but he's still relevant some way, somehow, some like, way, after somehow. all this time. I don't know how he's staying hip on that shit. But yeah. Like he is, like, he's yeah. jumping in. Like, he's consistently going to be a goat in the game of R&B. Yeah. Talk. Him, mm. and I ain't gonna stunt. K. Kemp. It's snapped. Yeah. He'll surprise you. K. Kemp, so, so, K. Yeah. Kemp has been, in my eyes, has mm-hmm. been stamped. Yeah. Like, stamped. I feel yeah. like he is, he's put a different flow with some R&B, and it's kind of made the game a little bit different. I feel like a yeah. lot of R&B is getting differentiated now. Like, yeah. everybody adding their own little flow to R&B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even gospel, bro. Like, I was listening to a gospel song, and I'm like, this is a Kick to that. Like, <laughs> I know what you're talking you talking about. So you be like, man, I'm so glad they said God. Like, <laughs> I'm like, well, if they didn't say that, I wouldn't have known yeah. that this song yeah. is about God. Yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm listening yeah. to a song the way he touched me. I'm like, yeah. To, to like a slow track. I'm like, bro, hold on. Like, but RB is now starting to take its toll mm. and starting to has like, Tap into just different, yeah. different times. So that's why I feel like R and B is just gonna be goaded. Yeah, R and B is gonna be goaded. Yeah, yeah. nah, for sure. So what's up with y'all playlist, bro? What's on y'all <laughs> playlist? What's y'all yeah. top three artists on y'all playlist? I'm gonna let's go go first. Like sex wise. Yes, nigga. Okay. <laughs> What's y'all uh, playlist, bro? Uh, Real Usher, talk. Okay, okay. Usher, Trey, she comes to the crib, right? Okay. She comes to the crib. She just oh, left. She just left girls' night. Girls' night. Real talk. She mm-hmm. Facetimed you. Uh, 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 uh. Baby, uh, uh, uh. I'm on the way. Uh, first, setting the mood. I like to play like maybe some like especially we got to look top three for- artists though. Artists, top three artists. Artists on your playlist, not specific songs. We don't want to get washed into that. Okay, top three artists though on your playlist. I gotta go with Genuine. Okay. Mm. Uh, gotta go with Usher. Uh. Uh-huh. And Kells, man. I got to put R. Kelly in there, bro. Yeah, fool. You like older women. We going to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> you like that old women that yeah. going to put your ass in butt hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to fuck a lot of cougars Ooh. when I was singing. When I was singing, I fucked the hell of cougars, nigga. I ain't going to lie. Right. Yeah. 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 No, okay. All right. I'm Genuine a, Ursha Kills. Yeah, I'm gonna right. tell you. I'm gonna tell you. And I only because I, I ain't I am a big R and B guy, but I'm I'm a R and B song guy. Mm, okay. But who I've been been really rocking out to lately is that Vito. That Vito, that last that last album he put out lately, I done Vito. fucked a lot to that. <laughs> that Vito. It's Vito, baby. <laughs> Larry, G. That's Vito, crazy. Ooh, I, gotta, Vito. I don't even know about him. You don't know about Vito? Uh-uh, I'm going to send you his, yeah. I'm gonna send you his last I'm jump. It's a gal out of Mississippi put me up on him. Bro, like, Vito just out, came bro. out. I'm like, women, yeah. they know. Hey, bro, women, I ain't going to stunt. Women know more R&B than guys. Yeah, for sure. Like real talk? They search for it. They yeah. actively search for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to actively keep producing it. Yeah. Because I've heard some like some of my artists that I listen to now, was because bro, I was talking to another female for yeah. it. She played a song. I'm like, put you on. I'm like, damn. Let me pull out my Snapchat. Yeah. Song right there. Uh, this who it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We back. Okay. So you said who was on the playlist? Uh, Vito for Vito. sure. And you know, even though Anthony Hamilton, he R and B, but he more like like soul, yeah, like neo yeah, yeah, soul. Yeah, yeah. But I fuck with him, and I fuck with uh, Layla Jane. Y'all know who that is? Layla Jane. I unpack my chest for you. Do anything that you mm. want me to. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Layla Jane. Ooh, yeah. Okay. They're my three right there. I go crazy with them. Okay. You got a woman in there, so yeah, girls yeah. gonna hear that and be like, oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mm, let me see. Who gonna be the top three? 
No cap. See, I be listening to a hard, like, undercover artist. I don't even be listening to, like, Chris Brown no more. But Chris Brown is for shit show. I'm the Chris Brown, he's on yeah, the playlist. Yeah. Chris Brown on the playlist. Old school, new school. I, Chris Brown on, on the playlist. playlist. Yeah. Baby, I will fuck you to fine China. <laughs> Chris Brown is on the playlist. <laughs> oh. Who else on this playlist? Sheesh. I know you got to have some tank, old school. Tank for sure on my yeah. playlist. Yeah. Tank for sure on my playlist. When Tank come on, baby, I'm done. <laughs> you ain't got to, like, yeah. we're done. I don't give a damn song first start. Yeah. We're done. After that, I'm done. I'm asleep. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. Nah. Uh, tank, Chris. No K. Kemp. Hey, Kemp. Hey, Kemp. Hey, Kemp. Respect. And I need to add some women onto that. Yeah, though. yeah, that Layla Jane, bro. Listen, that's her. Um, um, she give you that old school vibe, though. But she new school, though. She giving you that old school vibe, slick over new school style beats, style though. Beat. Ooh, yeah, she killed, bro. So I got a question, bro, because I had a I had an incident with telling the female like I listen like she was like who's some of your artists and I was naming out women artists. Yeah, and she was like, how you know these women artists? Like, yeah. how you know these songs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like shit uh, That shit was Shit That shit was on Pandora Yeah Yeah I won't believe Where I got Layla Jane from though okay. Um From um Boosie Yep. Oh, yeah, he do he's be he's riding in the car listening yeah. to it one time. That's like, all he listened to. Who the fuck is that? And Lucy then I, and then I, yeah, it ain't funny as hell. I was like, who the fuck is that? Funny as hell. It, it ended up being being uh, her. Like, shit, she killed, though. She killed. Yeah. But listen, be good, man. We appreciate you coming out. We definitely appreciate you coming out. I know it went quick too, then. It went, you oh, like, yeah. you, I was I like, what the fuck? Yeah, it went quick. It went quick. We probably been sitting up here. What? How much we been allowed then, King? Uh, now? Probably about an hour, about, yeah, forty-four minutes, 44 minutes. Yeah, I appreciate something like that. Now that nah, we definitely appreciate you for coming on, man. man anytime, bro. Yeah, anytime. yeah, yeah. Hey, we appreciate you coming on. Music coming out. Yeah, you know, I know what I'm saying. Hey, go go listen to Loop out. Go listen to so amazing. I look. Go follow me. Whatever we can do. It. And your shit kill too. Yeah. Your shit kill. Yeah. Appreciate like, it, bro. Like for real, for real. Appreciate for real. it. Like appreciate it. Yeah, shit kill. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. That's why I said like, and you, you kind of got that mindset too, that I feel you can come in more and give that creativity too. Man, so. bro, I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm trying to switch up the game a little bit, but I'm actually like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, I just want to show women appreciation. I don't think they do get that enough. But baby, you gonna have to show me some appreciation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the show, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Give it. <laughs> Look at a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> go on that fucking picnic. Look at a nigga. We ain't even gotta go to the park no more, baby. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Nah, bro. Like, I ain't gonna stun, bro. This podcast is lit. Like, yeah. Appreciate you, bro. We it's appreciate lit. it. Your vibe here. We appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. We yeah, definitely going to have you back again for sure. 100%. We got to have you back on again, man. Right, Talk some shit, especially when your EP come out. As soon as your EP come out and you doing your runs and everything, man, come back through. Yeah, I am coming through so yeah. we can talk about what's on the EP. Yeah, yeah. I need to know what songs y'all got on the playlist. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we talk. We're gonna have to, I'm going to have to add you in rotation too. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> hey, I got Vito and shit. We're going to add you some, in. There. Some guys have told me, like, hey, bro, like, you, you didn't. Got you, got him in there. Yeah, you got me in there, and I'm yeah. like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight up, straight up, straight up. Real but, talk. But again, man, we appreciate you coming man, on. I appreciate Listen, y'all, brother. This is the Chop by T podcast. We'll get real, raw, authentic conversations. Until next time. <laughs>